G'day folks, how are you going? It's Brad from the Headshot Guys here for um, another chat about headshots. Now today, just a little bit about my eyes actually getting a little bit better. You can see I'm wearing glasses now instead of the sunnies. Uh, I still can't get contact lenses in, so I'm going to give them another week or two. We'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know, I don't like wearing glasses that much, but anyway, we'll have to see how that goes. But yeah, it's my my left eye is the one that's um, got the ulcer. So it is slowly, slowly, slowly getting better. So anyway, today we'll talk a little bit about how to find your best side. Now, I shouldn't really use the word best. Um, another word, I think, I think just talking about someone's best side, um, I kind of feel that that's being a little bit critical. I don't generally talk in best or worst. I tend to talk in um, approachable and stronger are the two words that I generally use. Now, how do we determine our stronger side or our more approachable side? Now, Generally, and again, these are generalizations. So I've talked before about uh, eye size. 86% of people have one eye bigger than the other. Now, as you can see mine here, you might be able to see it. Um, my left eye, which is the problem one at the moment, is smaller than the other, my right eye, which is slightly bigger. Now, 86% um, of people have one eye bigger than the other. Apparently, that's the statistics that I'm given. I don't know where they come from, but that's probably a, a generalization over the world population. I'm not quite sure how that works out. But anyway, I generally find people will have one eye bigger than the other slightly. So a couple of ways that I determine someone's stronger side. Now, generally, I will determine that a person's stronger side is their bigger eye. So in this particular case, my right eye is my stronger, uh, will match my stronger side. Now, another way that I often determine someone's stronger side, which side to go for them, is often their hair part. Now, what I will find is that people will part their hair on their favoured side of their face. Now, I don't know why they do that, but that's what they do. Um, and what they're actually doing is they're opening up their favoured side of their face and they're saying, look at me from this angle because it looks better. Now, that might be their stronger side. It might be their more, more approachable side. How do you determine someone's more approachable side? It will often be the opposite to their bigger eye. And what I'll find on that side is that their smile will start on that side of their face first. The other side will catch up but it'll start on one side first. A lot of people have an uneven smile, and that's often why they don't like doing little smiles is because they can see how uneven it is. What happens once you get to the top end of your smile, it'll even up, but it'll start on one side or the other. So what are the two things we've learned? Bigger eye, hair part is often the way that will determine one side. So like I said, just to recap, Often people will part their hair on their favoured side of their face. That will often, not always, but often match their bigger eye and their other side will be their more approachable side. I hope that helps. That allows you then to um, obviously determine which side of your face do you want heading towards the camera and exposing, uh, depending on what you might say. Some people have headshots with both sides. They'll have a stronger side and they'll have a more approachable headshot. So um, I hope that helps. I'm Brad from the Headshot Guys. Like, share, do all the stuff you need to do. Um, I hope you like this lighting. Um, one of the benefits of my new studio is I have a big window here. Um, so I'm actually being naturally lit by window light today, which is a little bit different. I uh, thought it, I'd have a look, see how it goes. That's all you get. Thanks for watching. See you now.